Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Vijayta Vardhan and in this lecture I am going to show you how to solve a problem on a straight lines. And the problem is like this. A line AB 80 mm long has its end A 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. It is inclined at 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. Draw the projections of the line and find the apparent lens and apparent inclination. Now we will collect the data. According to the data, the true length, the line of the line AB 80 mm long is nothing but the true length, which is nothing but AB1 dash and AB2 is nothing but 80 mm. And the locus of A dash that is A is 20 mm above HP that is locus of A dash and A is 30 mm in front of VP that is locus of A and the true inclinations are given as 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. Now these are the 5 given data are that and in my previous lecture I have told you that minimum 5 data must be there out of the 12 parameters of a straight line. If these five parameters are not given, we are not supposed to solve a problem. Now there are five data are available. Now let me show you how to solve the problem stage by stage. Now using a line thickness of 0.13 mm, let me draw an XY line initially. And after drawing an XY line, make use of the same line command. Let me draw one projector that is the locus of A dash above the XY line. Next move the cursor just below the xy line now one can see that the points are getting traced from that end then draw a line to the another end now these are the two locuses which are at equal length then make use of the distance between command the distance between this locus and an xy line is given as 20 mm that is locus of a dash in the same fashion, locus of A towards the XY line is given as 30 mm. Then this distance must be changed to 30 mm. Once we have drawn the two locuses, we know that the projector of A dash and A has to be connected. Now, let me make use of this point on element command and draw a vertical line whose projector is connecting the front view of A dash as well as the top view of A. Now using the text command, let me locate a point as A dash here and let me locate this point as A here. Then we need to draw the true length at a true inclination. The true length in the front view as A dash B1 dash measures 80 millimeter and its inclination is 30 degree. Make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.35 millimeter with respect to the location A dash then set the length of a line as 80 millimeter at an angle of 30 degree. Now we can see we are able to get the straight line here. Then using the smart dimension command this dimension must be 80 millimeter and then the angle of this line must be 30 degree. Now one can see that this is what the required true length of a line. Now the true length of a line this point is nothing but b1 dash using the text command let us mark it as b1 dash. Now in the same fashion let us draw the same true length in the top view also for which again go to the line command the line thickness must be equal to 0.35 mm. Starting from A its length is 80 mm and the angle is 45 degree but one can observe here in the angle the angle should be given as minus 45 degree in the software. Now one can see that the point is going to be obtained here. Once we get that point next make sure that using the smart dimension command just click on the line and show that this dimension is 80 millimeter and using a text command this length is supposed to be sorry this point is supposed to be B2. Now we have drawn the given inclinations and given true lengths with respect to the given locuses. Then further how to solve this problem. Now we know that using B2, the B2 can be projected 
without considering the angle theta that is with respect to angle phi i am going to project the b2 to the front view to the locus of a dash then this b2 is going to be the b2 dash b2 is going to be the b2 dash will be projected in the same fashion using a line command with the thickness of 0.13 the b1 dash has to be projected till the locus of a to get the lock position of b1 then using the text command let us mark this point as b1 now where exactly this b1 is going to be this a b1 is going to be the top view length in the same fashion a dash b2 dash is going to be the front view length to get that positions exactly using a line command with the thickness of 0.13 just move the cursor on the locus of a dash also on the true length of a line b1 dash just move the cursor towards the left side now one can see it is getting traced with the help of this line the another locus what we are going to draw for b dash will be of the equal length which is already previously drawn in the same fashion move with respect to these two lines get the positions and then draw the another locus over there now one can see this figures are not seen properly hence for i just make a move of these lines slightly above so that it will be visible properly then what i am going to do in further after drawing these things after drawing these things make use of a command called as arc by center point with a dash as the center b2 dash as the radius draw an arc till it touches the locus of b dash then the moment we will get the position of b dash we can mark this point as b dash and this line a dash to b dash is the required front view when the line is inclined to both the plane when a line is inclined to both the plane hence for using a line command with the thickness of 0.5 mm one can draw it as a dark line then in the same fashion make use of a arc by center point with the thickness of 0.13 next we know that already we have got the top view length with the help of this top view length that is a as the center b1 as the radius one can draw the arc till it touches the locus of b once the locus of b has been obtained that point will be marked as b then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.5 mm join a to b as a dark line that is 0.5 mm thick now this completes the projection now one can understand that whether the problem solved is correct or wrong join the projectors b dash to b join a projector from b dash to b if it is going to join as a straight line and if this angle is perfectly 90 degree that is straight and vertical then our solution is correct once we know that the solution is correct this completes the projections so what we are supposed to identify we need to identify the apparent lens what are the apparent lens that is front view lens a dash b dash and top view lens ab and then apparent inclination the angle of line a dash b dash and the line angle of line ab how to do that one make use of the angle between command the angle between these two lines must be measured which is measuring as 45 degree and angle between these two lines must be measured which is measuring as 55 degree next in addition to that we are also supposed to measure two more dimensions for which go to smart dimension command just click on the a dash b dash line as well as ab line these are the required dimensions what we are supposed to measure now one can see that these are the required dimensions then using the text command let us make it as the front view length f v l is equal to is equal to 56.57 56.57 mm and in the same fashion and in the same fashion the top view length is equal to 69.28 mm and then angle alpha for which i will write it as a is equal to 
what is the angle 45 degree then I will paste the degree symbol and then angle beta for which I will locate as B is equal to and then angle is 55 degree I will paste the degree symbol then we have located these answers but we have not represented the alpha and theta symbols properly for which I would like to show you one thing just to select these things that is alpha and beta next go to this times new roman where the text style are there change the text style to symbol now you can see the symbol alpha and beta are going to be obtained how to obtain this alpha and beta symbol now one can see that using the text command instead of times new roman you can set it for a symbol and let me draw a text box then if i press letter a in the keyboard it will become alpha b becomes beta and f becomes phi and q becomes theta these are the four symbols what we are going to use it and by this i can say that our projections has been completed in all aspects but not uh, but la last but not the least make sure that you have to write a note what is a note all dimensions are in mm note all dimm SIONS dimensions are in mm must be written by thus one can complete the solution which is given problem and if any student is having any kind of doubt please feel free to contact me but make sure that the communication will not happen in the late night thank you guys